name is Sophie Vanderzee and I'm a third year PhD student at the psychology department here at Lancaster. And we are also part of the security research group at the security center. And what we're going to uh, look at in the next year is the possibility of using mimicry as a cue to deception. And we're doing this in security interviews. Um, that means that um, I am doing experiments in which we have people uh, telling truths, telling lies, and we have interviewers asking the suspects questions. Um, and I'm going to look at the uh, human behavior and the way they copy each other's behavior. The way I'm doing that is by looking at um, sort of human behavior in a very different way than psychologists normally do. Uh, usually psychologists like to code videos, uh, which is very time consuming and quite prone to error because it's very subjective. Um, so what we're doing is we're using something called um, body motion capture devices. And we're using a full body accent suit um, to measure human behavior, um, which is at the moment the most accurate way to do so. I think one of the ways to um, increase safety um, which is one of the sort of aims of security research uh, is to make sure that if you're doing police interviews that are done as good as possible and what we are doing is we're providing information on how to improve these police interviews. Um, we're doing that by looking at uh, different types of lines, different ways of asking questions, different interviewing styles um, and we're all doing this in the hope that one day mimicry can be used as a cue to deception, as a way to distinguish between people telling truths and people telling lies. And I think that's one of the main issues of security, seen as um, detecting deception is, is one of the two main features of security interviews.